so we're going to take a look at Agama, which is OpenSUSE's new installer. I cannot express to you how much I love this new installer. Blows the old one away, the old Yast installer. Blows it away. And it's far from being the worst one. I'm not mentioning any names, but it wasn't great. Very powerful, for sure. This one, uh, mwah. Now, for those of you who ever have ever installed a distribution with Calamares, this is that level of easy, simple, easy on the eyes, beautiful. What I've tried so far is OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Done that one. This time I'm going to use it to install Leap 16 Alpha. So that after this one's done, I can use, go ahead and use that to prepare for a Leap 16 Alpha video. Which, I no hurry, no rush. Long time, it's about a year away. But I still want to see, does it just install 15.6 at this point? I don't know. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed gives you a working version of Tumbleweed. I did it with KDE Plasma. Works beautifully. Lovely. I've not tried the Micro OS, OS yet. This is obviously a web installer, an online installer. You do have to be connected to the internet. There is a very simple Wi-Fi tool, very similar to KDE Plasma's. I'll show you that shortly. So in this case, I'm going to select Leap. When you're when you're when your only access is Wi-Fi, this part kind of fails. This early part fails, and you will have to go into the network and connect your Wi-Fi, and then hit connect, and it and it works smashingly, just like KDE Plasma's Connect. I'm gonna show you a picture of that real quick. Terrible, terrible picture, I know. Uh, very rookie-ish. I know. I'm a truck driver. Can't say much. Anyway, this is what the, uh, when you hit connect, it brings up your list of, of Wi-Fi connections, just like this. And then when you go to connect, it selects it. You put in your password, you hit connect, boom, you're connected. Just super easy. Very KDE Plasma-like. Love it. And we'll go back. So once you've done that, it does take it a couple of minutes to refresh and get back on on uh, not giving you a bunch of installation errors here. So this is what you see when you first fire it up. The overview. It's going to tell you defining a user and the root password on all that stuff isn't set yet. And that's as simple as just clicking on users and defining user. So I'll do that now. And I'll go ahead and select auto login because why not? Right. And then accept. So now it's no longer, I go back to overview. It's no longer giving me the error, error. It says ready to install. You can do more and I highly recommend you do more such as localization because right now it's telling me I'm in Berlin. I assure you I'm not in Berlin. So I'm going to find my time zone. Hit select, time zones right, network I've already done, storage. This is where you can set your storage device if you want to put it on a different storage drive or whatever ha you have, have you. This is where you can uh, set your encryption and, and then change your, your partitions on your system. And you can click that. You can do some very advanced techniques here. It, this is very KDE Plasma. It is simple when it works, and you can get in there and really dig around settings if you decide to. And then actions, you can change the actions. This is where you will set if you have Windows and you want to do a dual boot, 
you can select shrink existing partitions, use available space. If you have already shrunk your Windows partition from within Windows, and now you have an open area on your disk to install to, this is where you'll select use available space. And custom, if you want to do something custom, you can define that down here. And for this particular case scenario, I'm just going to delete current content because there is no content on there. And then software, this is where you'll change your, your selection, your patterns. So I'm going to go change selection. Right now it has a known graphical user interface. And again, this is for Leap. So it looks like GNOME and BASIC is all the options I have when it comes to Leap 16 Alpha, which is technically pre-alpha, not even alpha yet. So let me go back. Let me hit close on this. Let me go back to, uh, and, and this is kind of cool too. I can just come up here and select, not that one, uh, which one is, oh, change product right here. So I go back and change product. I can just change it to open Sousa Tumbleweed. Sorry, GNOME folks. I just don't like GNOME. And it is what it is. GNOME folks probably don't like KDE for the most part. It's all good. Use what you like. So all of my other settings that I've already done are already, are already in place. Still has my time zone. And... And now I can go into software, change selection. Now I can select KDE. As long as I'm in a tumbleweed environment, pretty confident they're going to have a KDE environment for Leap 16 again, real early. If, it, if they do it like they normally do it, Leap 16 is a year out, long time from now. So in this case, probably won't be doing a Leap 16 review anytime soon but anyway this is where you can select most of your stuff just like we always have multimedia office software selected LibreOffice, and looks like all i can do as far as selecting software go hit close yeah doesn't look like It doesn't look like right now I can select, say, LXQT desktop. I mean, you can go into basic desktop and then you can change it then, but that's a little disappointing. That's okay. And I also know, okay, so the, the terrible screenshots of the Wi Fi was on the laptop because I wanted to see what the Wi Fi connection looks like because I can't do it in a VM. And it's super simple and easy, but if I've got a minor gripe, any minor gripes, it's going to be, I need more desktop available, desktop environments available, and which could be coming. I'm, I am fairly confident they'll do that. And there is no abort installation or cancel installation selection. So in order to stop the install on the laptop, I had to turn the laptop off disappointing there not greatly if you're installing it you probably mean to install it and you're going to continue on it is what it is so everything else is set here you can set root partition you can do an ssh public key all that good stuff that more advanced users are going to want to do and then once you're ready to install you just click install hit continue and the installation is currently running I'm going to let this run, and then I'm going to fast forward through it so you can see it all, but see it all very quickly. So I'm, I'm not going to lie, that took a pretty long time. And some of that is because this is a live install, which means it downloads all the packages before it can install all the packages but it took a significant amount of time and I'm, i decided to cut out most of that because it, it took 
pretty wild, pretty good while. And now it's done, as you can see. We'll go ahead and reboot. And now we have a working system on a tumbleweed install with KDE Plasma from the Agama installer. I'm going to let this boot up. There won't be any updates to apply because it downloaded all of the current packages to do the install. So we'll close that out. So this is the Agama GitHub. And I'm going to link this in the description below so you can get to it easily. If you go down to the README, you can see all the README about it. So what I wanted to show you is I can't find anywhere in here where it says anything about this being an alpha or a beta. It's still in the development panels. So this may not even be alpha yet. I'm not sure. But this page does show you how to run it. You can get to the build service where you can download it from here. I'll load that up real quick because you do have to go to the next page to get the the 64-bit build ISO. Just wanted to show you that real quick, which is the one that I got. And some other information. They are taking, I guess, suggestions or discussion ideas and you can click on discussions there's some discussions and I may put in here there's no uh, there's no abort or cancel option which I'd like to see maybe anyway that is Agama and that's gonna be all for this video so as always thank you so much for watching